Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Bluefin Design and I'm Nikhil. And in this video, we will design and prototype repeat grids in Adobe XD. As an example, I'm going to use a personal project of mine called Possum, which I did some time ago. So Possum aims to cater to the growing pet industry in North America and increase awareness about adoption, facilitate and provide easy solutions to customers to shop for pet products. So let's get started. So I'm in Adobe XD and in front of you, you can see just a few artboards from the project that I did earlier. Um, this one artboard, the first one on the left shows some of the products that the customers or the users of this app can purchase for their pets. And I've divided these uh, products into categories. For this video, I'm going to remove all of these artboards because we're only focusing on this one for the toys or the products. So I have this one item over here uh, as one product that I want to show on this artboard. Um, in this product, I have one rectangle, which I'm going to use it as a background or the boundaries for this product. And above that, we have a photo of the product but I've arranged the photo in uh, as a layer mask so that I can basically get in the photo and rearrange or resize the image if I ever have to. And this like, gives me complete control over the dimensions of the image. And that's why using a layer mask over the photo is uh, really helpful. Um, below the image, we do have the name for uh, or place for the name for the product. And below that, I have the pricing. Um, if I zoom out, I do also have a favorite icon, which I'm going to place it on the top right corner. So let me just arrange it uh, on the top right over here. And that's, uh, that's my product item that I want to show. Um, you can basically uh, design this or add more items to this product. For example, if this product is available in different colors, you can choose to show those colors over here. Um, this is completely a personal preference. Now that you have the uh, items for the product, I am going to select all of these products, uh, all of these layers, I'm sorry, and press Command or Control G to basically put them into a group. I'm going to rename the group as product and now we are going to create a repeat grid. So with this product or with this group selected, I'm going to go to the properties panel on the right and up top, I'm going to press this button, which is to create a repeat grid. And just like that, um, you see, as soon as you press that button, you get these two green control points for on the right side and on the bottom of this group or the selected group. The right one, you can simply press and drag to create more copies. As you can create as many copies as you want in this repeat grid. You can also select the bottom control point and drag down to create even more copies. So it now it becomes multidimensional. Uh, but we don't want that for this particular design. So I'm going to put that back and you can also adjust the spacing between two items. So with that repeat grid selected, you can simply hover over the distance between or the space between two copies and adjust uh, the spacing. So now we have four copies for in this repeat grid that we want uh, to create a better experience for the users. Um, you see that the second item is not completely shown on the artboard and that's by design because I want to indirectly imply to the user that there's more stuff to the right side and the user can scroll to the right to see more items and that's when they can um, discover that there's more products that they can shop from in this example. Right. So the way we can implement that or prototype that is basically using a scroll group. So with this repeat grid selected, you can really amplify uh, the advantage uh, of this repeat grid by using a scroll group. So 
again on the properties panel you can see these three icons so the first one is to create a horizontal scroll the second one is to create a vertical scroll if you were using a vertical repeat grid uh, the third one is to create both horizontal and vertical so in this case uh, it's a good choice to use the horizontal scrolling and as soon as I click on that button you can see uh, there's two control points on the left and right um, just because this was a horizontal scroll uh, to adjust what the scroll area for my repeat grid is going to be so now that I have adjusted the scroll area to basically take up the entire width of my artboard I can show the prototype that it's going to scroll in that area that we assigned to the scroll group so using repeat grids and scroll groups together can really amplify the user experience that you want to uh, create now uh, for some additional information i am going to uh, basically use the text tool to create um, a sectional header um, so for example this category is i'm going to use this for toys um, i do also want to basically create a copy of this so this is a link that the user can then create or tap uh, to see more toys on another artboard so i have the repeat grid i have the scroll group i have the section header which is toys and this link that the user can then tap i'm going to select all of these uh, layers from the layers panel and once again press command or control G to group them together and here's the real advantage of using repeat grids I can create a repeat grid for this group as well so with that group selected I'm going to again go to the properties panel on the right press the repeat grid button I have these two controls over here and this time around since my artboard is going from top to bottom I'm going to press and drag the second control point to create a vertical repeat grid you can already imagine how much time I was able to save by using repeat grids but uh, to show one more advantage of repeat grids um, I do want to uh, basically undo this change or undo the repeat grid but I do want to keep all of these groups so with that repeat grid selected I'm going to again click on this ungroup grid button so now Adobe will give me different uh, categories as an individual group and this is what like I really wanted so if I just arrange all of these on the layers panel I can still have the different categories like for example this one is bowls and feeders and it was that simple I can then like rename all of these categories um, as per my choice but as you can see the images over here in the repeat grid are the same and you must be wondering well I can change it or not well you definitely can change it so um, here's a quick way to basically adjust or update images um, on your repeat grids so in this example I have four items in my repeat grid uh, I can simply go over to finder or explorer on my computer i can select four images that i want to update over here simply drag those and uh, drop them over this image so when i am holding my mouse on top of this image you can see uh, the area is being highlighted in blue that means you can drop these uh, selections on that layer so if i release my mouse um, all of these four uh, images have now been updated and the best part about using layer masks is that I can then dig into the individual image and then resizes as per uh, my liking and this may not be that easy with using a regular image instead of using layer masks so I do recommend using layer masks because it can really make your life easy. I can do the same with all of the other images, uh, but I, I think you get the point.
Well, you can't just do that with images. You can also do that with the name of the product. So this layer, it's a text layer that contains the name of the product. So if I go back to my uh, Explorer or Finder, I have a text document which uh, basically has the name of the products and four names in this case. So if I can just go back to Finder or Explorer, I am going to simply drag and again it is highlighted. Uh, so I am going to simply drop it and there you go all the names have been updated. Uh, you can do the same thing with the price and it is so easy and so quick to basically use repeat grids and create multiple copies of the items on your artboard and within minutes I was basically able to populate the entire artboard and even more if I want to right that's the advantage of using repeat grids now if I were to select this artboard and uh, basically see it on in action I can scroll and to uh, like you know scroll to left and right to see the products and since I created the repeat grid for the entire group I can now scroll all of the items as well. I think I was able to convince you to use repeat grids now, <laughs> wasn't I? Do let me know down in the comments. So there you have it, um, a quick video about designing and prototyping repeat grids uh, all in Adobe XD. And if you like this video, do hit the like button and show me some love, it really motivates me. Uh, share this video with your network so more people can take advantage of repeat grids and save a lot of time. Do consider subscribing to this channel as I have a lot more ideas and uh, designs that I want to share with you. So you don't want to miss those. Thank you so much for watching.